As the railway company marks 125 years of existence in Namibia, Transnamib saw it fit to reflect on rail safety, hence the simulation. The simulation was aimed at testing the national operator's emergency response plan. Such interventions are part of the company's strategy to raise public awareness about rail safety. The goal is to build safer communities and educate communities that are located along the railway lines about ways to keep safe around tracks and trains. And then of course Chief Executive Officer John Smith says rail accidents can be prevented and Namibian safety is paramount to their operations. Our trains cannot stop immediately or instantly, especially taking into consideration the amount of freight that is there on board. If we have a full train, and normally a full train is around about 20, uh, a locomotive and around about 25 wagons, if that train is at full speed, doing more than 60 kilometers per hour, and the wagons are fully loaded, it takes such a train almost a kilometer almost a kilometer before the train can stop. So when you approach a level crossing like this, do not take chances because the chance that the train will bump you or the locomotive will bump, bump you if you are too close is almost 100%. Oshana Governor Elia Irimari says people continue to be the major contributing factor to train accidents. Pedestrians and motorists are thus urged to take extra caution when passing at the railway level crossing to avoid fatalities and injuries. It is a well-known fact that pedestrians or individuals in vehicle have a low chance of surviving being directly hit by train, therefore, it is important to take rail safety seriously. People should always observe the safety messages and signal when around railroad trucks or crossing trucks. Tanatenia in body, NBC News, Ondangwa.